Hi, um, in this video, we're going to show how to find um, the uncorrupted bit in a Hamming code. And um, so the question says, uh, binary 1100-1101-0110 is an even parity 12-bit Hamming code that contains a single bit error. What is the corresponding uncorrupted Hamming code? Um, the way I usually approach these problems is I start out and I make a number of however many bits we need, in this case 12, and then I mark the parities, which our parities are 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, etc. And then I fill in the binary code below that. Um, with even Hamming code, what we're looking for is in each section that we check, are there an even number of ones or an odd number of ones? Um, so let me demonstrate because I think it'll be easier to understand uh, if I do it this way. So um, first we want to check uh, every other one and the ones that are underlined in green here are the parodies so we don't know what those are. So we're going to start at the one here and that's going to be a question mark. And so we check one, we skip one, we check one, skip one, check one, skip one, and so forth. And then we fill in what we have. So we have a zero, a one, a zero, a zero, and a one. And you can see that we have two ones. So our first parity bit number here is gonna be a zero. Um, had that been three ones, we would put a one there. Uh, so anything that's odd, we're gonna put a one. Anything that's even, we're gonna put a zero. So now we are gonna move forward to parity bit number two here. All right, so we are going to check two, skip two, check two, skip two, and check two. And uh, first one is a parity bit, so we can put a question mark for that. And we'll put down a zero, then we skip those two, we've got one zero, skip two, and we have one one. So we have three ones here, which is odd, so we're gonna put a one down. For parity bit four, same thing, we're gonna check four and skip four. So we're gonna start right here, skip four, and there's one trailing at the end there. Um, so it looks like we just have uh, zero, one, one, zero, and then another zero way down here. Uh, two ones is even, so we're gonna put a, a zero there. And lastly, we're gonna check eight and skip eight. So that will be from here forward. And we don't count the first one because it's a parity bit. And that leaves us 0110, which is even. So we put a zero here. Um, now what we want to do is look at each, each parity bit. So remember, um, this is one, that's two, that's four, and that's bit eight. And we want to see if the corresponding parity bits match that. So for bit one, um, they have a one, we had a zero. So we're gonna mark that as wrong. And for two, they have a one, we have a one, we can give that a check mark. For four, they have a zero, we have a zero, we'll give that a check mark. For eight, they have a one and we have a zero, so we'll mark that wrong. Um, once you have identified which of these are not supposed to, which of these don't match up, then what you want to do is add them together. So our X's are on P1 and we have an X on P8. So then we add those together and we know that bit 9 is our corrupted bit, which is this one right here. So that's telling us that that 9 is supposed to be um, where they have a, a 0. We actually want that to be a 1. So the correct code for this would be 1100-1101-1110. And again, that was the, the faulty bit there. Um, what we can do now, if we're feeling a little ambitious, is actually plug this number in, and we can go through and check it and see if everything matches this time. And I think we'll just go ahead and knock that out. So we have 
zero. We'll erase all that junk. And first we're gonna check one and skip one. So first one's parity, so that's question mark. Skip one, zero, one, zero, one, and one. And so we have one, two, three. So P one is odd, so we put a one. Go down here, we're gonna check two and skip two. First one's a question mark and a zero. Skip those two. We have one zero, skip those two. We have one one, and we skip. So um, looks like we've got three ones here, and that would be odd. So P2 is a one. Next one down is parity bit four. So we're gonna check four, which is, uh, first one doesn't really matter anyway, because it's, it's a parity bit, but we'll just put one, one, zero. So we've checked four, skip four, and we get another zero at the end. So P4, uh, we have an even number is going to be zero. Lastly, we have P8, so we have the last eight, so one, two, three, four ones. That's even, so P8 equals zero. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you don't count the parity bit. So this one should be a question mark. So we actually have three ones. I don't know why I did that. All right, now we can go through and check and see if we got everything correct. So P1, we have one. That's what we came up with this time. P2, we have one. That's what we got. P4, we got zero. That's correct. And P8, we got one. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks.